Hello everyone, my name is Israel2099 and I am CEO artist with a decade of experience and uh, a passionate Spider-Man enthusiast. You might have come across uh, this image I created three years ago, but uh, that's not what we are discussing today. In this video I will be sharing my journey on Spider-Man Lotus as a lighting and compositing artist along with an in-depth breakdown of the remarkable visual effects in my shots for the movie. So, uh, let's get started. Over two years ago, I started coming across with the Spider-Man Lotus content online. Despite being skeptical of fan films, I was genuinely blown away by the quality of the project, which caught my attention. Upon learning that the previous BFX team had left the project, I saw an opportunity to contribute. A friend of mine, called Alejandro, suggested I reach out to the director to offer my help with the visual effects. Initially, I hesitated due to the challenge of matching the previous BFX team's work. Nonetheless, I decided to communicate with uh, Gavin, believing in my ability to improve and adapt. I was assigned the bridge sequence, the car chase, this uh, night shot and the final two shots of the movie. For more context, I focused on lighting, some camera work and compositing. I also contributed to creative decisions to enhance the aesthetics and achieve a cinematic look. It's important to note that I'm neither an animator nor a 2D modeler. I received clear and concise instructions for the bridge sequence to align with the previous created shots by the previous BFX team led by Max Ornhammer. My goal was to maintain visual consistency throughout the sequence. Given the complexity of doing rain effects, this sequence posed a huge challenge. To achieve realism, we combined CGI with real stock footage. In the foreground, droplets hitting Spider-Man, creating small rivulets, splashes on the ground and on the railings, water dripping from the suit, in the background, out of focus rain, adding depth. I received the animated model from Zim BFX, you can check out his Instagram here. I experimented with various methods in Blender to create realistic rain, but the result didn't meet my expectations. Therefore, we turned it to Yusuf, an exceptional visual effects artist whose work you can see here. His talent has been showcased on Rebel Way, a prestigious visual effects academy focusing on Houdini, the leading BFX tool in the industry. Hello guys, my name is Yusuf Kujanolo. Today I will be showing you how I achieved water effects in Spider-Man Lotus. Let's get started. Here I have the animation, which is going on. I simply created a few scatters, like a few points, which is flickering in every frame. And this is how it looked like, how it looks like. And then for the sliding body ones, I simply created points again. But for this time, they stay for nine, nine frames and then they change. And then when I put them into simulation, they look like this. So simply what I made, make them longer and convert them into VDP and then convert them into polygons again, some peak and that's how they look like. Thanks for watching guys. So here I have my main lights and my support lights. So I will turn the support off. Here on the main I have these, these uh, subtle, uh, subtle uh, moonlight and uh, I have this strong key light that remarks the uh, the shape of spider-man body and also we have this soft top light right here and the support lights 
these ones. We got this strong light coming from the right. We got this uh, really subtle, subtle light creating volume here and revealing some information here. Um, uh, we have also these lights, which is one of my favorite signs. Uh, this act acts like some kind of frame light that also remarks the shape of the uh, character. And uh, we have this front light here that also reveals some information for us. Now, if we turn on all the lights, here we have the mains, but we don't have any information here on the inside and the left side. side. So uh, that's why I used my support lights. To add even more detail to the suit, I created a droplet layer over the suit geometry that you can see here. Actually, if I turn to the render view, you can see here the detail, the droplets over the suit surface. And this uh, honestly looks uh, really, really nice. Nighttime lighting presented an additional challenge. While nighttime light sources are limited except for moonlight, in films, we often trade realism for aesthetics. Striking a balance between a good look and realism is crucial when making lighting decisions. Speaking of lighting, we come to the most challenging lighting shot. In this clip, Spider-Man jumps from a window and swings along a street. I also want to mention that the scene layout was made by Raja Rajan. You can check his uh, Instagram here. There was a very little time left to finish this shot since the premiere date was getting closer. Inspired by a fellow Blender artist skilled in lighting, you can check out his channel here. I devised a clever trick. The difficulty lay in the tight time frame. So, instead of placing lights throughout the city, I used a simple texture with lights in the windows and applied it into the glass of buildings. By multiplying indirect lighting, I made each light act as an independent spotlight. Given the time constraints, I choose it to do the compositing directly in Blender, instead of exporting to After Effects. Now, I will show you the daytime shot. While daytime lighting is usually less challenging, it can be counterproductive as sunlight reveals all details. Therefore, the scene layout must be meticulous. The car animation was made by A. Yushman, uh, who is uh, a guy really good with the uh, automotive animations, so you can check his Instagram here. Okay, here we are in this scene with the layout made again by Roger Rajan. And uh, you might think that we have only one light source here, the sun, but actually we have three light sources so if i turn up the, uh, the hdri light and my field light you can see here that it have a uh, like uh, blue sun that is intended to be the sky color light filling the scene with a blue with a blue tint also we have this field light to kill some shadows and we have the HDRI main light. Also, we have this layer of like some kind of cloud shadow that if you look closer here, you can see these fractal shadows here projecting on the uh, buildings, uh, adding uh, more detail to the, to the scene. 
If any animator or artist who have worked in these scenarios were not mentioned, please leave your names in the comment section and I will add you to the video description. Please understand that we are a large team and uh, I don't have personal knowledge of everyone, which makes individual mentions uh, challenging. Finally, we have reached the end of the video. I want to express my heartfelt congratulations and gratitude to the entire visual effects team of Spider-Man Lotus, as well as the previous visual effects team. Many thanks for guiding and collaborating with us to achieve a visual cohesive result. This exceptional achievement couldn't have been possible without the uh, contribution of exceptional artists. I also want to thank director Gavin Canab for his generosity, humanity, hardworking, and uh, above all his humility. You are an outstanding director with the ability to communicate your vision and uh, select your team precisely. You possess the talent to delegate decisions and take the lead when necessary. Thank you a thousand times and uh, sincerely I hope to have the opportunity to collaborate with you again in the future. If you are a Blender artist looking to bring cinematic and uh, epic vibes to your renders, join my YouTube channel and follow me on Instagram. I will be launching upcoming courses and advanced classes focusing on look dev, lighting, compositing, and visual effects. Stay tuned for more exciting content. Thank you so much for your support and I will catch you in the next video.